am president of the Franklin Public Library Board of Trustees calling this meeting to order at 6 o'clock on Monday, July 24th, 2023. Um, I will do a roll call uh, attendance. I am here. Judy Williams Kalaki. Here. Doris Weber. Here. Terry Barris. Here. Anne Marie Oklubgia is excused absent. Uh, Alan Alexandrovich. Here. Mike Karlovitz. Here. Michelle Eichmann is excused, and Annalie Benin is excused. Um, as of right now, I am appointing Mike Karlovitz to take notes as secretary. If we can get the table together so he can write. <laughs> Push. That's as good as excited. Okay. All right. Excellent. So. Um, other than our visitors, we have no other public guests, so we'll move on to the approval of the June 26, 2023 meeting of our library board. Did everyone have the chance to peek at them? I did. I make a motion to approve. Doris? A second. And Mike. Any, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any abstentions or nays? Motion carries. All right, we have some wonderful visitors with us this evening. So, Jim, you, Mr. Matelski, <laughs> is the director of IT for the city of Franklin, and he is on the agenda first to give us an update of the, um, the technology, the security project. The video surveillance system uh, has been probably the longest project that Heartland ever actually had open by any of the customers. Wow. This started uh, back with Mark Liberta. It right. was a replacement for the, uh, the Indigo Vision survey system that they have over at the police department. Um, they looked at a lot of different solutions over the course of time, um, tried to actually take a video surveillance project, a door access control project, and a physical security project for, for multiple build, buildings, um, facilities, and then roll it up all into one project. And that's what where Peggy Stino, Director Stino, mm -hmm. left it when she was in charge of that project. I got my hands on it in, in January, <laughs> was handed down to be by the mayor saying, Someone needs to run with this and actually get some action moving on it because the equipment literally is failing mm -hmm. over at, at the police department. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and there's a, a level of immediacy of you need to have video surveillance, particularly in the jail cells yeah. over at the, at the police department. Uh, I took a look at the project methodology, or lack thereof, and immediately turned around and dissected the project into individual components mm -hmm. for it. So there is a separate officially a separate project for the police department, a separate project for video surveillance at City Hall, a separate project for video surveillance at the library. There is a door access and physical security project over at, at City Hall. So these are four different security projects that we're, we're all dealing with right now, instead of lumping it in, into one, which simplifies it because the requirements are different mm -hmm. for each and every single facility. The, the requirements and the deliverables for the library is going to be different than what you have over at a police department. For You don't have <coughs> detention cells and all, and all that in interview rooms over here like you would at, at the police department for it. Um, don't tell them we actually need <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, and now we know what happens yeah. to the right, teenagers. Right. Uh, <laughs> the monies right. themselves that you want over at City Hall. <laughs> I mean, my, my data center is the only one in all of Milwaukee County that actually has a shower in it. Whoa. Because it used to be the old book. <laughs> <laughs> and right outside is the jail cells where they have all the, the, the paper storage. Uh, we wanted originally the project for the three for video surveillance to be completed by June as put into our statement of work and project scope. Right. Well, in comes the realities of trying to get equipment and then trying to get on the schedule. Or even though Heartland said, yes, we're going to turn around and have this done by June, mm -hmm. then their cable installer said, say what? And so we've got, we, there's no way we can do this. We've got all these schools right now that need us to do this work at the summertime hours where we're not tripping over anybody. We can't do the cable installation until August. And the police department said, no, that is absolutely not acceptable. So we got a nice happy mix, and they, they started basically the week after the 4th of July. 
So over there, they're pretty much done with the cable installation. I have some switches that I have to put into the jail block. That's my uh, basically my project for tomorrow and Wednesday is getting those new switches and routers configured and put into the cabinets uh, for it. We had some shipping delays where equipment was broken three times in a row. Thank you very oh. much, UPS. Uh, so there's a lot of unexpected as, sure. as you would with a project of, the, of this magnitude. Uh, for it, but they are beginning now to start hanging some of the cameras uh, over at the police department. So they're doing camera installation 717 to 720, 731 to 84, 87 to 811. No, you don't have to record that in the meeting. <laughs> and it's an eight, last one is 814 to 818, and that should be the last set of cameras going up over at the police department. While they're doing that, they're also redoing all of the dispatch area monitors, and they're putting in a whole new video wall. I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone's ever seen yeah, police yeah. dispatch, mm -hmm. where you have those big two big television mm -hmm. sets up there. Well, they're getting rid of those, okay. and they're now actually bringing larger monitors that are going to be hanging down from the ceiling, which actually will be closer to the dispatchers, so they can get a much better resolution. Plus, it's a high-definition television mm -hmm. camera. Mm -hmm. And then they can determine <coughs> what cameras they actually want up on the, the screen at what given period of time. Now, will any from the library be in there? Yes. Okay. The police department, as was decided, will have full access because there's going to be an emergency situation sure. to all of the cameras in all of the governmental the facilities. Okay. Chain of access. They have full mm -hmm. administrative rights to okay. all of the <clears throat> systems. Uh, they, will, they will need it in case there's any mm -hmm. incident and they mm -hmm. need to have give it then to the detective's office for, mm -hmm. for investigation off of it. They can turn around and review the material. They can see any of the material on the recorders. Uh, they can view any of the live footage in any given period of time, and then there will be select administrators in each office. So Jennifer most likely will have full access to do, view the material and see the material over here at the public library. The police department obviously having the God level access, and they can determine right. and set the access rights. Um, and as we start building in new cameras throughout, um, they will have that access. Now the data is actually stored on a server that's going to be in the telco room over here. I actually had a beautiful, nice rack and two UPSs, uh, yep. and we have to somehow get it from <laughs> with, that, with, with a broken <laughs> back parking, front parking lot, and to somehow get the rack over here mm -hmm. for it, and then put it in the server room, and I pray we have enough electrical outlets to hook up all <laughs> the UPSs in there. It's a lot of moving parts <coughs> to all of this. Right. We are looking at September... <coughs> For doing city hall and the library. Okay. So now is the is wiring. That, that be due? Uh, we'll be doing the cable installation. Okay. So they'll be putting in the new cable. Throughout the building, you throughout mean? Throughout the building. Because it's down in the parking lot now, right? Uh, no, they I are not doing wondering. any. It's internal only. The okay. only cameras. Now, I prepped them. We actually got some changing of some, some now policies and standards over in engineering. I told them, don't you dare. <laughs> dig up any parking lot ever uh, unless you turn around and put in yes a, a, a pole conduit or, a conduit yeah. so you're going to need mm -hmm. conduit for electrical and right next to it separate conduit you need a conduit for data and that goes in into the, the actual building and that's so, so they don't have to install it in the building but they have to put it near the building where they can put a hole in and then and put it in there. Okay, so that's that way, what when they pave over okay. it, if they want to run conduit, they just turn around and pull it through the pull tabs sure, from sure. the conduit. Okay, on it. So and they, that's what's being. I, I, there's trenches out there. That's, that's where it. all this is for. The yeah. DPW, but it's not. That's what the trenches are for. But the DPW also had a <clears> request <throat> that when they built the building, they only put in a lot of outdoor lights that actually had two rows of lights. Right. It's not the four like you normally mm -hmm. see. So that's not that's good. That's why it's been so dark. And we want you to move those lights. So instead of light and a big cylinder of concrete underneath it where you can hit it with your car, right. they want it actually moved up onto the islands. Right. So they want to redo some of the islands. So you have where you have lights, you have an island for it. And that way it's easier for them to come in here and plow. Right. With a snow oh, it's, right. it's a devil trying yeah. to get around the cylinder conduits on the lights and the islands at the same time. It's so much easier if the lights are in the island and you only have one thing to drive, the plow around. Right. Okay. So it's like while we're digging this all up, let's completely redo the lights here, add a lot more light, add conduit, 
And then at a later date, if we want to put an eagle's, what they call an eagle's nest camera yeah. up on top, mm. of the, on top of the pole, we can easily put a camera up there and it, it can then get a much better view of what's going on around the parking lot and around the perimeter of the actual facilities. Okay, okay. Are there so when cameras we... cameras out there now? No, no. there's so, not a single camera. Okay. So when we toured with Heartland, I was there with Jennifer and, mm -hmm. and you, mm -hmm. and we went around and looked at all the corners in the building, and we, he, the Heartland uh, rep, talked about the cameras that would be on the outside. Correct. Those Were there the any... Mount, there will be mounted cameras to the outside, outside of, the of the building. building but They're going to have to change the one on the, on, the, on, the, on the pediment. Right. Uh, out of the top. Try yes. thing on the top because there's no way you're going to get a camera side. in there. Yes. On it. So they're going to move that lower and, yep. and off to the off to the side. <clears throat> so they may put two on each side of the pediment, but it'll be on the side of the building itself. Okay. There'll be nothing on the light poles. So, right. I was going to say on the current project that has been signed off or the current contract does not include any on light poles out there. Correct. Okay. We're prepping it for the future. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because I wasn't born yesterday. Everything that they're right. doing right here, they're going to be doing right at the police department right. when they tear up that lot, too. Right, right. Okay. okay. So cameras <clears throat> here will be internal, largely, right. with some on the external external yeah. facing on the building. They will have to drill a hole through the building. Right. They're really good at it. They just did it in the police department. They right. actually put one right in the, fire, the police chief's office. <laughs> right. So <laughs> they did it when he was gone, thank God. Yeah. Uh, for So, yeah, they are drilling mm -hmm. holes mm -hmm. in, inside the building in concrete, and they can go actually do quite a lot with the drills right. for it. But they, they will, they're very good at controlling the dust in the air and, and as little noise as they possibly can make with a drill at that point. And I think any board members that want to see the schematic for what Heartland is doing inside and outside the library building, I believe I Jennifer, it. I'm sure you mm -hmm. have yeah. it, but I okay. Jennifer has it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and and so we don't need to and go into too many details about that. Unless, right. Yeah. So what were the dates again that we should expect? It's going to be in September. We have to okay. wait we have to get the PD done first right. for obvious security reasons. Yes, for, but then it also gets, sets up the whole basic infrastructure because right. the milestone server, the analytics server, right. and the one that also displays all the content to the uh, the, the video right. wall in dispatch, that's at the police department. Right, right. At, you at couldn't right do now. it that way. Yeah, right. right, obviously. Right. They have the server. So we have to set up that core infrastructure Sure. the application server over there mm -hmm. and then we will then be setting up the mm -hmm. in we'll probably be starting it in august of so bringing in the rack and bringing in the video server mm -hmm. and racking it and the actual recorded where you put the data on it is actually mm -hmm. going to be in the telco room okay with, with the rest of the equipment and that was my next question heartland obviously feels like they have the room they need here in this library building to put what they need to service us here correct okay and, then, and each camera also has an SD card on it oh, okay. that just in case okay. the video recorder goes down, <coughs> that the video it's just doesn't stop not recording. Sure. It then records onto the video card, and then it will then upload it then over to the video server, okay. the okay. NVR, when it actually is back online. So when everything is all said and done, obviously pending hiccups and whatever, when do they think that the project will be completed. At I'm looking at the there. end of September, beginning of October. Okay. Is when we're done. City Hall isn't that complicated. Mm -hmm. um, this is more complicated sure. with mm -hmm. the vaulted ceilings and barrel ceilings on it. That City Hall, it's two rectangles that are flat. Right, right. That right. it's pretty easy to shoot the, the cable from one end of, of the building, the one end of the rectangle down down to the other end of the rectangle. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. plus we have more wiring closets here. Okay. Here it's going to be a little bit more because you're going to have longer cable runs sure. going through it. But they've done through this, they wired up the county stadium uh, and, and Viserv. So right. they're they're used they to doing very large sure. areas and spanses. This will be a piece of cake. Okay. All right. Any other specific questions for Jim? I will Any state, too, from a data <laughs> and privacy concern, which is a big, huge concern sure. out there right now. For it. Uh, I just did a rabbit hole deep dive, watched some PBS Frontline on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> this weekend. Uh, four and a half hours of, of Frontline just on two absolute must-see videos called the United States of Secrets. It's about three oh, and a half to four hours. Excellent movie. 
talks about thin thread with the U.S. government and the video surveillance, which is still going on to this day. And now how thin thread is actually connected to all of the large social media networks. This is going to be more of a security threat to our citizens than our own video surveillance system. Because this can record and capture stuff in the cloud, and if it's in Apple's cloud, the NSA already has it. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. That comes from TikTok or anything, because they also have access through all the line, fiber optic lines that are, are basically running out of the country right now and have direct feeds on that. A lot of questions. Are they going to hear the video? Are they going to hear people's conversations in here? The answer is no. Microphones are only on the cameras when we're in the interview rooms. So the interview rooms at the PD, where you're interviewing people, you need to have the audio for it. Mm -hmm. Will they be able to do facial recognition off of this? The answer is no. They opted not to turn around and do that. Will this connect to any other databases, warrant databases and such, uh, that may be at the state level or the DOJ level? The answer is no. We are not integrating our system or giving access to any other law enforcement agency than the Franklin Police Department. So if there is a question about privacy concerns, it can be addressed to our own police department. And it begins there and ends there. And we are not giving that data to the state unless it's for literally a crime where we have to give it to the state's DA office for it. Uh, we are not giving that information to the federal government. We are not giving that information to any other social media entity out there that may be doing data analytics. The only analytics engines are the ones that we pay for through Milestone. We are not putting this in the cloud where it can easily turn around and be taken because it's a lot of information and it's not only the city hall, the library, but it's also the police department. We were looking at a company called Verkata at one period of time. They had a major security hack where suddenly a whole bunch of, it was done by an internal employee, found its way over onto YouTube. That taught us right there and then, no, we are not going to put something that potentially may be evidence up to the cloud that has to be stored locally, privately. If we have a disaster recover, a disaster... So it's on a piece of hardware. It's on a piece of hardware. It's in this building. It's locked in this building. No one else is going to be able to turn around and have it other than the people that we have authorized. Okay. Because I am a constitutionalist to my very core. And I do not believe in giving our information to anybody else, period. Even under warrant. They're going to have to get a court warrant on that right. and go through the police department in order to turn around and get, get access to it. And even then, I will question it. All right. Thank you for protecting us. <laughs> so I... I know there's been a lot of questions at City sure. Hall, no, I'm yeah. sure. particularly yeah. with the mayor in Green Bay putting microphones and then having getting a court order to turn around and take them out. They wanted to know, will the cameras automatically have microphones in right. it? It's like, yeah. absolutely not. Okay. <coughs> I, I also appreciate that you took over the job and actually got getting it done. Getting it done. <laughs> For sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It seems very well organized. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Well... Thank you for being here. Any other questions for him or comments? Right. Again, thank you for being okay, here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This. And we know where to come if we have questions. You certainly <laughs> do. <laughs> All righty. And feel free to stop into the Technology Commission meeting anytime that you want okay. either. So yeah. we are going to be doing major changes with the WAN, the fiber optic WAN, and okay. our internet. Um, it's not touching the library at this point because you get your sure. own through, through Milwaukee right. County. Right. But uh, we we're putting the fiber optic land. They were actually trenching up by, by City Hall okay. and putting new fiber in. in they hadn't put the fiber in, they put the conduit in <coughs> gotcha. um, over at City Hall on Friday. Very exciting. So that project is coming along very, very nicely. And soon we'll have high yeah. speed fiber, at least for our government facilities. Look at all the stuff. Get <laughs> <done. laughs> smile. I know. I know. We'll have all of us again. camping out in the lobby, tapping yeah. into that, right? Is that <laughs> no. fiber coming through the school district? <clears throat> yes. That's what I thought. Yep, yep, absolutely. The, the, the WiskNet hub. I, I, I almost fell over backwards when I learned that the school district had access to WISCNET, but government did not because they did not want to turn around and piggyback on it when they put it into it. Oh, wow. And it was a, a gargantuanly bad mistake. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I think the district paid like $200,000 to run all the, the the wiring that they had to to get mm -hmm. it. We're spending 900 That's it? To go, to go all the way around the, the, the Nine, city. $900? And that's sharing conduits. Yeah with the school district and sharing conduit with the city of Waukesha for the water. 
Oh, wow. So yeah. we are sharing conduit within there. We're sure. putting in our own fiber strands, but sharing conduit, so government is actually working with other government entities. Whoa. Yeah. Amazing. And that's a first. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's, that was a bit, otherwise it would have been 1.2 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be spending two hundred to four hundred thousand dollars on brand new firewalls right. to around to make this happen. So you got an outrageously good deal doing it what you did compared to doing it nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Yep. Thanks, Thanks again. Thanks. All right. Okay, we'll move on to our Eagle Scout project. And please, nice and clearly and slowly, say your name for us so we say it correctly back. Shrikar uh, Patu. Okay, Shrikar. Yeah. Excellent. And I am just going to. Okay, mom. Because <laughs> <Thanks>. I, <laughs> I just want to. No, no, but I just want to point out that tonight, in honor of you and your mom, I wore my Eagle Scout oh, pin <laughs> because uh, my son is an Eagle Scout. And awesome. out of everything in his life that we're proud of, That's I'm very shirts. proud of this right here. So, so nice of you to wear that pin. Yeah, yeah. So this is for Thank you, you tonight. Thank <laughs> you for being here. And uh, good luck on your project. And please tell us about it. No. So my name is Shrikar Fedunuku, and I'm a Boy Scout in Troop 532, in, located in Franklin, Wisconsin. So I'm currently a Life Scout working to get my Eagle rank. And one of the requirements to achieve that Eagle rank is to plan, develop, and give leadership to others in a service project that's helpful to any religious institution, any school, or your community. And I decided to do my Eagle Scout project here at the library for many reasons. One, I've been coming here ever since I was a little kid, and this place is like, you know, a great place in our community. And our troop also holds our yearly court of honors here. Um, so my original thought was to do a raised bed for like vegetables and fruits. And the reason I wanted to do this is because other uh, scouts in my troop did this for the aerial project. But after I talked to Miss Lola Phil, sorry, Lepo, 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 sorry. Lepo. Uh, she, she expressed how redoing that flagpole area was her first choice. And I also saw the idea as a good project, too. Um, so now I'm just going to go over, like, the project proposal, like, just some key parts to it. So first, the project is to create a retaining wall around the flagpole. Um, and it won't be around the whole flagpole. We'll leave some room so that you guys can lower and raise the flag. Uh, so we'll clear up the area inside of that retaining wall, and we'll place a weed barrier in that area. And then we'll fill that area with soil and mulch, and then put some plants in there. Um, so overall, like, this project would have like, an aesthetic value to the FICO area. Um, and then how I recruit members. So I'll send an email to my troop members and their families. And I'll also ask uh, some of my family and friends to come help me with the project. Uh, so we have like, so we have many materials and supplies. So some of the main materials are blocks, uh, weed barrier, and then landscape garden staples. That's just to like, uh, mm -hmm. so the weed barrier can stay. And we also put some supplies down, such as some snacks, just in case people get hungry during uh, the project, first aid kit. And then some tools we'll be using includes like a mallet, shovel, tape measure, etc. So for all the materials, supplies, and tools, the total cost will be $752.64. And so how I'll get that money is I'll ask some of my family and friends to give me some money for that Eagle Scout project. And I'll also ask Culver's and Ryan Road to, mm -hmm. for, like, for my fundraising to give me a certain percentage of their sales for oh, that day. Yeah. Um, as far as permits and permissions goes, there won't be any permits or permissions for this project as we're not digging that deep, we're only digging mm -hmm. max three and a half inches. And then the wall is only four inches high. I think it had to be like 18 inches for, for it to have like, for you to have a permission on that, so. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, so for the safety issues, according to scouting.org for safety, we don't really have, we don't really have any issues as everyone that's helping me in my project is either in scouts or is old enough to be able to use tools such as a scissor, mallet, mallet and shovel. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for like the main parts of the proposal, but I got some questions. So. Do you guys want me to add a weed barrier there? Because if I do add it, then those tulips won't be able to come. So, uh, do you Yeah, because we dug up the tulips so that we could 
recently. Mm -hmm. So, so you one of the issues that I've noticed in stuff that I've done where you put a weed barrier in, and now when you try to do any planting there, it's like impossible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably a lot easier for you to to put things in and then just mulch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if you can, if you can make some plantings where it'll be, have some things that come up in the spring and then have other stuff that comes in after that stuff dies <laughs> down like in the summer. And then, and then those types of things, once they fill in, that'll kind of help keep the weeds down just by having the amount of plantings mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's, uh, do you guys have any like suggestions for like the types of plants I can use? Uh, maybe offline, you know, you give us your information and we can mm -hmm. we can come up with some things for you. And Jennifer and the librarians yeah. have things that they plan. We do know. love the tulips in the, I mean, right. we love the tulips right. this year. And, the, and again, yeah. if you don't so, do the weed map, the tulips could stay, but yeah. then to intersperse yeah. them with something else, um, matching that. You know, originally we kind of thought a red, white, and blue theme yeah. would be kind of cool. Oh, sure. There, but, yeah, yeah. Um, I think okay. we talked about that yeah, originally. Yeah. yeah, you could do like Shasta daisies mm -hmm. because they're white and there's all kinds of red, white, and blue, um, mm -hmm. like summer constantly blooming. And things that, I, I would stick with natives, you know, mm -hmm. things that Definitely would do natives, really yeah. well. In, and um, perennials. So things yeah. that would just come up on their own right. so we don't have to be planting, planting every, yeah. year. every year. Right. You don't want to create, you don't want to do a project that, creates a project for right. the staff here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. So just a few more questions. So when digging, is there any like, like water pipes or any like electricity that we'll have to yeah. be aware of? Or? Yeah, we'll have to get them marked. Okay. Um, like with 3.5 inches. Like yeah, it's not that far. Really not, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're going to be way. My question yeah. is, I noticed there's already digging out well, that should be by done. that island. So is that going to impact your when, timeline? Yeah, Do you just... Have you talked about the uh, parking lot project in relation to that, to his project? Well, the parking lot project should be wrapping up in August. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we also want to do our project as well in August. Okay. Okay. Um, is there like certain times? Because like, so we have the thought of the weekend because that's usually when everyone will be available. Right. Mm -hmm. But also, like, as far as timings go, like, it shouldn't be when the library is closed or can you guys, like, block off that certain area during a certain time? Or oh, yeah. Like, we can, yeah. Okay. Well, I can have DPW, you know, we have the cones and we can uh -huh. put, like, caution tape around. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because my original dates I had down were August 12th and then, also, so we'll try getting done in one day, but we also have August 13th as sort of like that rain day. Uh, that's just like the plan so far, but we still need to go to like the, I gotta get like more approvals, not just here, like from my scoutmaster sure. mm -hmm. and yeah. the council, which I'll get next week as my scoutmaster is out there this week. So. Yeah. yeah. And I can get more um, information about the, the timeline, the of, timeline the of that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I'll let you know, too, about, like, when I get the certain materials, when fundraising starts. Mm -hmm. um, so. Where were you going to be getting your retaining wall material? Uh, so we're going to get it from Menards. So we plan on uh, having it, having them deliver it here, mm. here, those bricks. I know that, I don't, I don't know if they all do it, but I know, or even if they do it now, but it used to be that um, Home Depot, mm. if there was any community projects, that would be going on that that they would um you know give you a, a price break <laughs> on some things so you might at least check that out mm -hmm. you know, even if you just contact the store manager at home depot and say you know i'm scout i'm putting in this project uh, would it be possible to get a price break on the materials from you in which case you know you might be able to save some money and they may still deliver it too they might know. also if you go to some of them they might have the flowers and stuff that you need, especially because it's coming to off season. season, they might they just might give just... them to you. I know when my son did his project, we had approached, um, he had approached the manager at one of the local, uh, we weren't in Franklin at the time, but one of the local hardware stores. And the manager said he could not give a discount or something, but he handed my son a gift card. And so that covered even just a portion of the tools or the mm -hmm. materials needed. And so mm -hmm. that might be something, I don't know. Like I said, we weren't in Franklin at the time. So 
he didn't approach the Franklin hardware stores, but some of the smaller, you know, maybe Harry's up on 76 and Rawson. Yeah, or, they donated some stuff when Kayla's Playground went in. Right. Mm -hmm. And so. they may not give you a huge deal on something, but they may do something small. The other thing is Grandpa and Grandma donated mm -hmm. lunch to our crew of boys. So that was, you know, it's kind of nice when you give people an actual, like, don't just give me money. Could you buy, you know, could you buy uh, cousin subs for us? You know, if it's a, a close relative or, or something, you know, you might want to give them something yeah. specific that right. they could yeah. donate right. and not right. just ask them to donate. So um, that would be my <laughs> suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. And then invite them to come, you know. Mm -hmm. Grandpa could make it the 20 feet from the parking lot, and he sat there in his wheelchair watching it all go on, and he loved it, you know? So even if they, if that's how they participate, they sure. love it. Yeah. 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 Who's going to be the adult supervision? Uh, we'll do that next year, please. Okay. Sure. Okay. So is there any other, any other questions you guys have about the project? You said the 12th and the 13th? Yeah, that's like the plan. The plan date. Okay. Uh, here's like an image of like what I plan on doing this middle oh. part here. Like that's going to be the flag mm -hmm. area. And then it's like at an angle right now. We'll make this more like square, like a square sure. pad. Um, so yeah, that's just like the plan so far. Looks great. So everything that's not planting area is already there. Yeah. So you're not putting in any pavers or anything like that. It's just the retaining wall that's going around. So yeah, anything that's right. not planting area, that's that's what's already there. Fair. Oh no, this is like this is like an image from a kid. So like those right. But what I'm saying is that this gray stuff in the middle. Yeah. You're not doing that. No. Okay. You're just doing this. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, no, we're doing the gray stuff in like this part. This part is going to be there. Not the approach, because you said you yeah. want access to be able to raise and lower yeah. the flag. So okay. they're going to so, be doing so that an approach. Yeah. Yeah. So just like this okay. part. Because uh, right now it's just like grass all over. Or it's something. mulch. It's okay. like yeah. mulch and the, the sidewalk goes like around the whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's not really, do they step on that mulch to do the flag? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the mulch gets all over the sidewalk. Right. Yes. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go to like other stores like Home Depot and like ask compare the sure. prices and ask for if they have any discounts. But and I'd go over to Lowe's too because they usually have a lot of garden garden stuff. They have a lot of plants in their garden stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, all three of them are on Twenty Seventh Street. Right. I just have right. Menards, Lowe's, Home but Depot. Menards is in. Oh, oh that's Creek. true. That one's Oak Creek. You got to go to the Franklin. You got to go to the Franklin Menards. <laughs> All right. That sounds very good. Yes. Well, thank you for doing that for the library. Yes. And we'll definitely to enhance it. it. And uh, we appreciate your time this evening. Thank you for coming along. Yeah, also. Coming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yes. 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 And if there's anything else you need from the library board, mm -hmm. don't don't uh, yes. uh, you can be afraid email to me. contact. Yeah, contact with Jennifer me. and she'll she'll let yes. us know. Yes. Yes. Can I get the signatures for the approval? Oh. 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 Sure. Sure. Yeah. Whoever you need. Probably would, yeah. Jennifer probably would be the yeah. <laughs> I've never actually had to do that. <laughs> well, we, I, I think John oh. did. He had to get the. Well, I'm trying to think because I wouldn't have done it with the police and hire thing. Um, yeah. What about that one, though, that other one, that I little. Remember after. Oh, okay. You probably didn't. The beneficiary approval. So that is right here. Yeah. Yeah, do you guys anyone, anyone want to see my work but like sure. my plan yeah. so far? I'd like you know, to, if you yeah. email it to Jennifer, she could probably send it out mm -hmm. electronically okay. to us. Yeah, or, and I'd or like to send it to Bob Tesh, our building maintenance yes. supervisor, yes. too. So, so yeah. that's easy enough to do rather mm -hmm. than yep. having sex. Okay. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll get your information here to for your representative, like your phone number, all that. Right.
who charters your uh, troop? Is it the Franklin Schools or like who? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So it... Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that where you meet? Yeah, that's where. Okay. Should be good. Only oh, we got to get rid of the B in front of this. Is that it? I think that's good. Oh, is that meant to be a drawer? For the benefits, you're supposed to be a car address and a library address. Probably the library is benefiting from your pro the project. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Jennifer, you're not building her a garden, are you? No. <laughs> no. Okay. It's the library. You're welcome to come to my house in Wabatosa. <laughs> she might not. She might not. That, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the library is the beneficiary. Yeah, okay, super. Well, right. thank you again for being here. Yeah, and if, for me. yeah, you betcha. Anything else you need, please let us know. Uh, I will, yeah. I can email you some ideas for plants out there too. <laughs> That'd be great, you know, yeah. after talking to and yeah. Yeah. Carrie. Your home flowers are also uh, yep. coming red. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes, yes, the Eagle Scout. Uh, I don't want to block you, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, of course. All right. Well, thanks again. Okay. Thank All you. right. Yes. We are going to continue on. So, yeah. Then, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, I'll email you as, like, as we start buying materials, fundraising starts. So I'll just keep you updated through the whole process. Oh, that would Update be awesome. Update her, especially... Mm -hmm. um, she may need a few days lead time to contact the Franklin DPW to set up the perimeter around that area okay. on the day you're planning yeah. on working. So you would need to okay. know that a few days in advance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and for sure. The, uh, the um, August is what I was told. They're, they're starting in earnest right after National Night Out, August 7th. Oh, mm -hmm. So. They don't, I don't believe they'll be working on the weekends. Not at all on the weekends. Yeah, yeah probably. Okay. Yeah. Which yeah. with them about that mm -hmm. area to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm going to talk to the project manager about that area around the flagpole. Mm -hmm. Specifically. Right, right. Good. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah. You too. Thank, Thank you. All right, moving on to agenda item five. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did. did. Yeah, we yeah. did. I missed it. I Doris missed it. and Mike. Thank Mike's you. I'm try, we'll try to take notes for you. Oh, no. Here, look at look at He's got him too. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> don't help him. Let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any fun 15 sheets. Okay. okay I don't oh, have any right e either sheet. No, this is fun 16. Did they not go around 15? yet? Yeah. No, there's some right, 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 right on the other side yeah. of your... Yeah. Who does not have the vouchers and invoices? We, the three of us do. You do or do not? Okay, that's okay, mine. We do. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mine. whoops. Sorry. Sorry. You can, I'll look at them. I will 15. look at them if yeah. you need. Yeah, we're good. Here, I'll just. Please find 16. Yep. There you go, Maria. There we go. I have a 15 and 16. Oh, you have one, Judy? Yeah, you can get it. I'll take There's one. There's a 16. I need a 15. Right and Terry, Terry, do you have any? Oh, Speak up. Uh, okay, here you go. I have an extra 16. Okay. Yeah, that <laughs> orphan. I don't... You, you got an extra 16, really? Oh, yeah. I, I did. Alan wants it. Yeah. All right. Thank Ready, you. set, go. Okay. I make a motion. <laughs> Keeping moving right along. <laughs> As I went through Fund 15's invoices... Uh, the only one that kind of jumped out at me was the last one, Zim Heating and Cooling, mm -hmm. 6557 <laughs> for the air conditioning repair. And then if, when I looked at the invoice of that 6557 4620 was the refrigerant. Right. I know. Yeah. When are we getting your pushing system? I'm pushing them. I'm okay. pushing them. Pushing them. Okay. But everything else looks... <clears throat> Legitimate, so I'm looking for a motion to approve the invoices for Fund 15 in the amount of $18,816.81. Okay, now I make a motion. <laughs> I, was, I was second that. <laughs> so Doris and Maria, any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Any opposed or abstain? Motion carries. You've got one. Uh, fund 16. Again, nothing really jumped out at me. It looks like pretty normal. So I'm looking for a motion. Fairy tale birthday company. I know. 770. They make so much money from would, us. Maybe. That, that, I'm sure they were worth it. They bring in a lot of this, people. Yeah, they do. Yeah. We could do yeah. fairy land birthday party maybe instead of fairy this one is tale This one is bluey. I know. This will bring in a lot of people. <laughs> okay. They have a lot of, it's yeah. a lot of staff members though. That's right. a lot of characters. When you pay for sure. characters. For character, yeah. any licensed, mm -hmm. yes, for yeah. sure. All right. Okay. I'm looking for a motion to approve fund 16 invoices in the amount of $8,187.63. So moved. Mike? I can second. Dora seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstain? Motion carries. All right. <clears throat> Treasurer report, we have gone through... 49.59% of the year uh, through June. In Fund 15, the revenue is 96.3% of the budget. Um, and there was nothing recorded in June in revenue. Mm. Um, net investment earnings were not reported in June. I have a theory on it hmm. that we, they, they've been overpaying us. And somebody caught it and goes, well, that's not the way that we should be calculating it. Because if we look back at last yeah, year, I know. Um, and yeah. last year <coughs> we got interest of ten thousand eight hundred seventy-one dollars and investment losses of five thousand three eleven, so we netted about fifty-five hundred dollars for the whole year. We're getting that on a monthly basis. Last year Ooh. was a crummy year for that investments, year. and so this year's is, a much better year. So who's they it, it, caught it's, it? It's better. I I don't know. Okay. But it just nothing's been posted, and, and that's something they just don't typically miss. You know, it's standard reports. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking it might. They, were, they missed other things last month that I checked in on, too, when they adjusted it, or the month yeah. before, I guess. We, we'll, we'll see next month. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, sure hope I, I hope I'm wrong, and <laughs> yeah. the money keeps flowing. You know? <laughs> well, I was thinking because there was, you know, what, June is a 30 day month, and maybe there was a delay, and. Posting? I, I don't know. I should have watched the, our, the movie Arbitrage last night. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can, um, that could be something we bring up to Danielle. Like we talked to her about other things. Right. You know, with uh, with the financial stuff and the communications and some things not always coming through the way they, they, they should. And so. And maybe on a, on a city level basis, that missing things isn't as important. We, you know, as, as us, we, not that it's not important, but you know, it's important to us. We need those numbers every single month. Yep. Whereas for the city, it's like, oh, it'll come, it'll come, it'll come, whatever. So, but we have to just reminding her that. Yeah. You know, well, since we only meet once a month. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I see and we saying. are a board it's that a relies it'll, it'll show on, up on this, Wednesday. Right. Yeah. Versus a, a city board that you know the money's there, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. And just before the meeting, Jennifer went out there to see if maybe it hit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> not yet. All right. So, <clears throat> enough with my conspiracy theory. All right. <laughs> no, it's valid. Uh, the expenditures were fifty point seven nine percent of the budget. Uh, the under contractors is dust free cleaning. Mm -hmm. Our salaries were up about fifty percent. Oh, That's because sure. we had three payrolls. Yes. yes. It's mm -hmm. in June. It's in December. <coughs> and so that was the impact. It also affects the FICA and the retirement mm -hmm. account, Absolutely. but that was the only one. Uh -huh. Electricity was high so far for this year, but we've had a very mild year as far as heat Until this week. Until yeah. this, oh, yeah. That's right. And so 74, 72 was high for this year, but last year was 8,807. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. Building improvements, 18742, that was due to the purchase right. of the surveillance equipment. Just Other than that, things looked as anticipated. Okay, I do have a question. Yes. On Fund 15. Yes. Dust free. 
are we buying those supplies for them or are they providing them? Because our janitorial provide. supplies run high and I was trying to do some historical and future looking at that line item. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure, are we, are we paying attention to that? I know it was high during COVID and, and we made a little adjustment and there looks like there's a little adjustment, but is that, is that running high just because? I mean, actually this month we didn't yeah. pay that month um, much, but. Bob told, when I asked Bob about that, he said he had bought like a ton of hand soap because the prices were getting ready to go up. So we bought us okay. like a year and a half's worth of okay. hand soap. Okay. All right. And we said, thank you or don't do that again. Well, I mean, he's saving us money down the road. It's, you know. It's and he's the one that purchases it. So we can't. Yeah. Um, okay, but this like is that. what. Likes to... Yeah, yeah. So Find a they Doesn't provide, have... Dust Free <laughs> provides the cleaners like. The sand, the stuff that they clean, they clean with, but with. like the hand soap, the, soap, but the, the toilet refills, paper, the, the paper towels, paper towels. We we're still provide. doing that. Yes, okay. but there is glass cleaner and other that things they, that they are. That's providing. part of their stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's rolled in. Okay, all right. But that's a good catch because last year we had like sixty four hundred dollars for the whole year in janitorial supplies. Uh, right. But weren't we getting he, some kind of benefit, but because of the COVID? Exactly. Thing? And we're not anymore. That was like a lot. And so, and and I know that you guys have already worked on the budget for next year. And Jennifer, have you submitted that? And I, I don't know, know if that upper, includes. I just those, done capital. Right, the capital mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so that might just be something. Uh, and that's not something the foundation thought, like gives us money <laughs> grant for, money or they you know paper. they don't do a fundraiser <laughs> for hand soap. So. I do think that he had. <laughs> A couple months ago, he had found something. Yes, he did. Too. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. That he. And it never seems like a year and a half from now that we're going to see <laughs> a deal in our budget because he bought this now. I don't know. <laughs> no, because right. when you see a whole bunch of it, then you just use more. <laughs> right. Maybe. Do you have a storage closet where you can actually check that we got all this? All answer? that ends up now. I wouldn't even. That would be a really, really, good, really good use of her time. Places. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it hit me in different All right. <laughs> and everybody well, has There isn't really a storage area anywhere here, right? No. Yeah. And sometimes I'll call him and say, we need the... We need the... We need the... shower. <laughs> I'll call him and say, we need the Dixie cups. <laughs> we need those old Dixie cups for the yeah. thing. And he'll bring them over from City Hall. Fun 16. Yeah. Fun 16. Let's go on. <laughs> Revenue is sixty seven point four three percent of the budget. Again, no interest on investments. Right. Donations continue strong. And remember, miscellaneous revenue is an offset for yep. programming. Total expenditure is sixty eight point twenty two percent of the budget. Subscriptions are running uh, higher than last year substantially. And and did we get price increases or do we add subscriptions or I think it was the sign up genius. Mm. Oh. Um, subscription that made it run higher. I'm gonna have to look into that and mm -hmm. see. Okay. I feel like everything went up this year. Well, everything did go up, yeah. But not fifty percent. No. Right. Sign up genius. Did that just? I saw that in your notes. Did that just jump up a lot in price? Or were we on a few free trial for? Well, we did have the free trial for a yeah. while, and then for years we didn't have. Anything. We didn't have any. We were on a free trial, and I think we... But, you know, oh. we have but that's going to go away. For that. Yeah, we have a solution for right. that. Yeah, exactly. I saw okay. that in your report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, other than those accounts, uh, everything looked as anticipated, and the cash register report was perfect. As as now, are you just copying and pasting that every month? Or <laughs> yeah. is it, really true? it is true. I work very hard to get that darn thing. Perfect. You don't see him before <laughs> well, every meeting. He's well, tossing like, change into the drawer to even it up. It, it, once it's three months in a row, it's looking good. We just don't look at it anymore. Right? Oh, no. No, but the cutting and pasting thing really worked. Nice. <laughs> good. Okay. Um, did anyone see anything that they had questions on? Because the next statement is just, you know, the six months running right. side, side by side. <laughs> and then, you know, missing an electric bill and investment interest. Uh, 
periodically. <laughs> Things look kind of straightforward. We still need to get the reduction in the charges for inner department. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. And which, geez, postage is really like over the last couple of years. I saw just, that. Whew, that's all that, you know, converting to digital. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Alan, it, remind me where that, that, um, Inner department thing? Inner departmental thing. That is 5560. Five. So it's right towards the end. On the second page. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. Which we're still being charged. Full boat. Yeah. Yeah. And Even though we are now paying our own. And we can see that we've service. paid dust. Free for three months. Oh, okay. yeah, we were questioning so, that last month, weren't we? Is that April, May, and June, or May, June, July? April, May, and June. April, May, June. Okay. All right. And Jennifer does have a spreadsheet where they show how we're charged for what we're charged on. And I took a quick peek at it, and we should be getting uh, $3,110 of benefit because we're not paying anybody and they don't yeah. have all the administrative expenses that are tied that they tie into that too. Mm -hmm. So we have documentation that the the payment to Dust Free is coming out of our accounts and not coming out of a city account. Right. Okay, so it's coming out of our accounts. It's plus we're the, paying yeah. the interdepartmental. It's coming out of that sundry contractor's so right. two nine nine. Okay. Okay. But then we're still getting the same charges. The same taken. charge. So I okay. I've got I'm gonna I'm gonna email Tom. Yeah. Okay. And Danielle. Yeah. And we need to make sure we get uh, back payment for that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Not just, oh, starting now we'll make it right, but that we get that credit. Okay. Well, yeah, our books have to be correct. Well, right. <clears throat> okay. I'm sure that's what yeah. I'm sure. I'd bet your life on it. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll bet your life on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the credit card summary, I looked at it, and library library materials were a little higher than normal, but that was the only thing that I saw, and we need materials, so well, I'm Carrie, sure some of right. that. Carrie started purchasing her foreign language. Oh, and was some of that the Wonder yeah. Books, or was that purchased prior to this? No, that's to that? prior oh. to this, yeah. So this, is, this was, I'm pretty sure this was a good chunk of it was Carrie's. Okay. Neat. Okay, so we blame Carrie. Yeah, we blame Carrie. Okay, so that's all I had. Things look good. As always, Alan. Super. And then were you going to give a report on the finance committee? I can do that. Okay. Unless Terry or Mike wanted to. Me. Both for the team. Yeah. All right. We, we, we met Danielle Brown. She seems like a very nice person, easy to get along with, um, except for three thousand dollars. Right, a <laughs> month for three months. Um, <coughs> we had they gave us a, a presentation of what's going to happen in the budget and when we need to get everything done. Right, and uh, the capital requests were the only thing that was due already, mm -hmm. and Jennifer's got that done, mm -hmm. and we hope to be. She hopes to be on it. A timeline that has been laid out here right. although she's new the mayor's new and yeah who knows how well that will go <clears throat> is our budget going to be in this book this year to be reviewed i need to bring that up i'm tomorrow. gonna walk over there with it in my hand already hole punched <laughs> and it can go in the book. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah because you're right all those people sure that, that said it would be are gone now. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So we'll make sure. I don't know. Mich does Michelle sit on the finance committee? Over. There? I don't That's a good question. Think I, so. don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think she is. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> and then uh, the next item C was uh, talking about the capital mm -hmm. expenditures and. The building and grounds was meeting yep. on the 18th, and they'll have some <coughs> prioritization for us, and that comes further in the, this report. 
Um, we made a recommendation that they use the budget for 24 as we lay, had laid out and given to them. This one. Yeah, yeah we really didn't see any right. any major yeah. changes. Yep. Um, well, you guys did such a good job on that. Well, you, one of, you know, some of the things that came up were um, as a way of kind of managing things. If we were going to look at some things that would, we would we would say, okay, can we rely on or go to the foundation for some of these things? Right. Like we had been furniture. getting money for furniture. Let's go ahead and do that. Right. Right. Where it's something that's something something that would fit within the amount of money that they would that they would raise, and it would be a good use of use of their efforts as opposed to you know something Genitorial bigger that's like attached supply. to the building. Like okay, like we need to redo carpeting. Yeah. yeah. Or, uh, <clears throat> now, one thing that did come up in conversation that that we've talked about here was understanding. Okay, what do we? What are we responsible for? Which is stuff inside the building. What are they responsible for? Stuff outside the building. So when it came to uh, all the parking lot stuff, mm -hmm. she said, "Oh yeah, that's that's the city's thing." Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. then when it came to the chiller for a hundred grand, mm -hmm. what about that? You know, that was something that we had in the twenty twenty four budget right. to do. So um, that was something that I think you know we we said. We hadn't had really good communication with, right. with the city on if we're putting some things together in a budget and, or things are going to be need to be done. What do we care about? Right. What, what should right. we put in for and what don't we? Right. And I had started that conversation with the city, but I admit I never completed it. So maybe it's time for. Well, and Danielle emailed me on Saturday. Right. Um, so after the board. Yes, yeah. out and basically said that she had confirmed with Paul Rosenberg that what he had said was that any repairs to the building are the city's responsibility. Okay. So, like the air chiller. Okay. It was her understanding <coughs> that the air chiller would be the city's responsibility. It's also they had a hundred thousand in our IRS had a hundred thousand in the original. Yeah, spreadsheet, and, now, and it's, now he's telling me it's three at least a minimum of three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. So, right. So. But I have, the other thing that we talked about earlier was that any capital item that's under five thousand yeah. dollars is just going to be expensed, and we're just going to take it on. So, like we're talking about the patio yeah. right. outside of the four walls, but. If but they, it's under five. If they do mud jacking or they just scrape <coughs> it down right. to make it ADA okay. compliant, it's going to be under five, so it's going to be on. It'll be, okay. Okay. And that's a nice compromise or a nice way to handle that. As long yeah. as stuff gets done, I well, guess. Well, yeah. And, but, and, yeah. Right. And that was the thing that was holding things up was like, where's the direction here on who's going to do what? Because we're not going to spend our money if it's going to be the city that's going to be right. doing but it. Right. But in if, win, as long as yeah, it's yeah. a reasonable amount of like, Hey, this right. needs to get done, and you mm -hmm. said you're gonna do it, but right. like it needs to get done now, like the security. Well, door. right, right, yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, <coughs> Keith Dipple, I believe that's the same IRS project manager, mm -hmm. um, said it's a nine to 12 month right. so lead like, time on needs... an air chiller, so time is of the essence. We yeah. need to like work Order now. It so, now. Now. so, I mean, I put the capital summer. request form <coughs> in. Good. I didn't put it in as a library cap one. <laughs> so, I just put it as a general one. Yeah. And I emailed yeah. them and I said, here you go. Yeah, good. Yeah. And I, I said, and then I also said the city needs to open up a conversation on, are you going to replace it with what we have now with right. the expensive refrigerant? Are you going to look at, re you know. They're probably like, everything. well, it's under five thousand dollars, so you, you guys will be stuck on paying that expensive for well, right. But that's interesting because it sort of is a disincentive to the city because we're paying the expenses to keep repairing it, and they don't have to pay anything as long as we keep paying out of our budget under five thousand. Right, but eventually it's, well, well, eventually it's going to be more than five thousand though. Was right. oh, yeah. And, yeah. Eventually, yeah. and eventually, and yeah. eventually, it's going to be yeah. absolutely. They'll have to, so, I mean, they'll right. have to put a new. Right. Right. But yeah, but until then, there's yeah. no incentive for them because they're paying out yeah. of our budget for the repairs. Yeah, yeah. and that extra expensive pooling oh, when it needs goodness. to get. Well, and you don't want to have situations where, all of a sudden, the thing is down. It gets really, really hot. You got to close the library. Right. 
right. Well, and, and right. I do want right. to, when we are considered that safe safe place or the safe right. haven place or whatever for the city, what's well, like we need to throw that in there that when we talk to them. Because, you know, we're the place that City Hall closes when there's bad weather and whatever. They close. But the library is obligated to stay open a lot of those other times. Right. Well, we're also the place people will come if, if it's hot if it's and hot if they, and don't they don't have right. come on in. access to. Sorry, Hi. Oh, no. Hey. Janice wanted me to. Oh, yeah. We have the August. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I wonder if there is some way where we can... Um, I would use say, that in our negotiation. Say so. that this is what we want. Yeah, we're sending you doors. That's, you <laughs> know, we mean. are, the board is saying yeah. this is what we want. No, we Take can't it. be that mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at negotiating. Well, I was going to say, maybe Doris and I need to go over there and tell them what's what. No. The right person for the job, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else from your finance committee meeting? Uh, the only other thing is we did have some conversations because this spreadsheet yes. yeah. uses formulas based on percentage increases, and we said, of you know, we're, we're taking our best shot, exactly. but who knows yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now one, one thing understand. that I did bring up is that um, if we look at all of the things that are tied to personnel, yeah. um, this month we're at no, this this year we're going to be at seventy one percent of our budget. Okay. By twenty twenty seven, we're going to be at seventy four percent. Okay. So in other words, our costs are outpacing what the city is giving us for dollars. Yeah. So the the final to do for Danielle was they said, okay, so she came to the meeting, and this is kind of joking. She came to the meeting, and it's like, well, we didn't give you any homework until now. So now what you need to do is you need to go back to the city. You need to find the money to cover the increased costs. <laughs> Right, right. It's seriously because, <coughs> right, yeah. You know, if stuff really does go up, continues. You know, and especially some things that are outside of our control. Right, right. And she said our materials budget was not that large. She's from Waterford, so oh, she knows. And yeah. she was, huh? Like we do materials about eight thousand a month, and didn't she? Somebody said twenty thousand a month. Yes. Yeah, was she, that her? Waterford. And might well. Might have been her. Yeah, I mean, but was, she also said that they were closed on weekends, so they were putting their <laughs> their money against the, the materials. Uh, but you got got to come Monday through Friday to, to get it. Yeah, but we get all the people on the weekends. Though. Right, right. Water, so Waterford is a growing yeah. community yeah. for sure. But granted, they keep telling us Franklin's been growing like crazy for the last thirty oh, years. Yeah. We're the top growing suburb or whatever. Mm -hmm. So All right. It was a good meeting. It was a good meeting. Oh. Yeah, it was a good I would say that it seems like all of our interactions with the newest staff has all yeah. has been. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Now it comes down to retention. Mm -hmm. Is this table real? <laughs> Probably not. All right. <laughs> Any other questions for it, the finance it is, committee? It is a sliver. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, then we are going to go on to business. Um, 6A of the um, agenda, and my question is for the election of library board officers positions, uh, we do have three absences, but do we want to just go forward and, and go ahead and do the elections? I'm fine with it either way. Yeah. So, all right, let's do it and get it done. So, um, Annually, we re-elect board officers. So we will just start with uh, president. Does anyone nominate themselves or someone else to take over? Any limits that we have to worry about? We we've we already talk, we discussed this last year. Okay, yeah, and we said no. Okay, don't okay. don't push it. Okay, fine. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> he, knows, he knows too much. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, I, so, I nominate you. I've done it for three years. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and very well. <laughs> okay, so I, I came prepared. I came prepared. Why should I continue and not give someone else a chance? 
unless somebody why else wants it. shouldn't some why shouldn't there be somebody new who who else wants to step up I'm not sure that's the question no it's a question I'm asking okay I mean the people who aren't here who I told asking, Annie are, are she's not here us. I was going to nominate and elect her <laughs> <laughs> then I felt a little bad and decided yeah, then she's gonna quit the board that, and so, right. she's not in a no, I know, I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm just um, I would say because you 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 have a lot of experience, <laughs> but you're you're organized. You have time to do it. That's Judy was really good too. Right. You know her, Judy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but, but I, I wasn't here when Judy. I was did way it. too busy. It's it's hard. I agree. You have to have time to do it. Yeah. So I don't know. I why to keep you? I mean, consistency knowledge of the city and the budget process. You've already made all the connections with the new people. Yeah. And it's only for a year. <laughs> do, do you really not want to do it? No. My okay. concern is that, you know, I've done it for several years. Right. And is it just time for somebody else to do it? It's not, I am more than happy to do it. I'm more than happy to stay on the board and serve in whatever capacity. Mm -hmm. But I don't want it to become something that they're just that person just, that's day yes, too long. Yes. No, I don't so, think you're that greedy. No. No. I don't think I've right. seen it as being an ego thing with you. No. No. Well, it's agree. not an ego thing. I no. No. It might be with my husband. She <laughs> is. <laughs> but. Um, and I know we're talking about president, right? Yeah. But everybody else here has already served a position on the board. Except that you. is. That is true. Yeah. Well, so then, how about how about vice president? Um. Wait, don't we have to elect a president? You, I know, I, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah whatever. So. But I, well, it's kind of a new formal like process. Now, yeah. now you'll have like two minutes to think about it. Yeah. Because yeah. we're going to finish up with this one first. So unless you're volunteering for president. I am not. There's okay. no way I have time. All right. Okay. Did you get that year of experience as vice president? Right. Yeah. I am and not And maybe there should be a more of an effort. An, not that it has to be one of those succession things, like in a lot of companies there is right, a succession. Right. But maybe there, especially in this case, more of a, um, you know, intentional, this is what it's like to be a more active member of the board, like well, Carrie looking, and Jennifer. Exactly, yeah. exactly, so whether exactly. we move newer members into other positions, no mm -hmm. matter what they are. Mm -hmm. So maybe that can be a goal for this year to kind of. There's an underlying problem of not, well, maybe you could use more turnover just of members or right. more as such. To get different ideas and mm -hmm. thoughts, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is true, and I, I have thought about that over the past couple of days, too, leading up to this, and I thought, you know, just how different things were the year, year and a half that we all went through the pandemic and how we had to handle that, and not that those years were not a part of our service as board members, mm -hmm. but how how they were so very different that, um, you know, it certainly has brought a different type of experience for us, you know. Mm -hmm. But but I agree with that. It's, it's hard when you have people dedicated and people that want to be here and people that want to serve to talk about replacing us, right? So... Um, but none of us are being replaced today. So <laughs> anyways, um, I would be happy to continue to serve as president if, if that is if that is what you guys would want. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Anybody opposed or abstain? Okay. You're stuck with me again. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> I know. I, um, all right. So vice president, have you had your two minutes to think about it, Doris? What would I, what does it all entail? So you have to act as president of the, of the president right. absent. So, for example, yeah. there was a possibility that I was going to be gone last month, so Mike sat in on our agenda meeting and was prepared to run the meeting. It also would be if some, if I would be at the last minute unable to. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and just with the discussion, it might be cool to bring you on board for some of those meetings and things, um, just so... I mean, to... I'm open to it. I just don't have a lot of time. That's what I have learned. It took on well, job one, one good thing is, is that you, you don't have kind of shadow responsibilities like 
like the chairperson does. So in other words, you don't have to attend the agenda meeting. So right. you don't have to <laughs> right. do all of right. the other right. stuff. But you are very actively involved in the life of the library. Right. Right. Through your kids and other stuff that you that you that you do. So you know Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing if you don't want to be vice anymore. Right? Aren't you right now? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Been there done. We're gonna hit him up for something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hit him up for a second. Now. Okay. The All in favor of Doris for vice president? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstain? All Congratulations, right. Doris. Yay. Yay. Okay. Uh, secretary. No. I vote Annie. Annie. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to speak for Annie, but I would imagine she could go either way on staying or not. So, Terry or Mike, would you like to be secretary? I can't read my writing. <laughs> That's why I type. Um, I, I flunked type in. It was a 10, hour, ten, minute, ten hour letters a minute. So. All right. Who, who else? Who's absent? No. Oh, I think um, if there's a real steps in that. There's no, right, right. But, you, know, you said you're not doing it, huh? Oh, I prefer not to. You prefer not to, Mike? Not Do you have a desire to? I second her preferring not to. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so, I, so I thought you did fine. It was not a matter of not doing fine. It was a matter of shut up for emailing me at like five over four. It was you saying, "Are you going to return this month?" All right. So are we are we allowed to to vote? I will Annie say in? Annie has been really good a, the he, last few months getting them to me, like see? literally, like right after the board meeting. I thank you. Okay. Yes, okay. Definitely do Annie. Well, all yeah. in favor of Annie. Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed or abstain? Okay. And uh, I know. <laughs> Alan to continue his tremendous job at organizing yes, all of our finances into multiple <laughs> spreadsheets that we can all understand and present them to the city in a way they can understand. All in favor? Well, yes. Yes. Right. You wanted oh. to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So give him a chance to say no. no. I yeah. like doing it. Oh, gosh. Okay. It gives me something to do in retire. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstained? Okay, so as it stands, the new 2023-24 Franklin Public Library Board of Trustees officers are Maria Imp as president, Doris Weber as vice president, Annie Oklubgia as secretary, and Alan Alexandrovich as treasurer. Um, with several of us missing, um, though... Are, are those of us present content with the current committee assignments? Mm -hmm. Now, with... Oh, okay, who's who's all on what? Doris, what are you on? I'm on uh, personnel. You're on personnel. I'm on personnel. The three of us are personnel. Mm -hmm. Personable. Do you yes, want... I'm on personnel. And then the no, other no, no. three... <laughs> are you, are you, do you want a different committee assignment? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Well, you, you know, do we want the, the other three are finance, and then the and ones then who aren't here are building and grounds. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, it's fine. Because otherwise, do we want to table that till we next could. month? I guess we could, yeah. Okay, let's yeah, table yeah, that till next month. I'm going to table committee assignments till next month. But then ask. Yes. Yes, yes. that people think about think if about be another one that they want. Right. Yes. Yeah. So I in in the email. minutes, Mike. Yeah. Why don't you uh, make that? I will. Make I can also point. send an email out. That would be awesome. Okay. We are going to move now to the strategic plan update, the mid-year strategic okay. plan update. It's pretty good. It's going pretty good, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so jump in if you have any specific questions. So if you just want to focus on the Q2 stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know, we continue to to survey our patrons who come to our programs about what they want. Surprise, they want more of what they're coming to. Exactly. Oh, well, you know, the music. It's almost always whenever we survey them. I have yet to get a survey. Well, have children's we, isn't. Have, probably, have we found a way children. to survey people who are not coming to programs to see what they want? 
people who are not coming to programs may not even want to come to programs. Mm -hmm. I wonder if is there but a way to is there a way to is there a way to uh, when people go to use the computers that a survey would be pop up. Would you like to, to use ask, the survey? But the, it would be such a small, I mean. It's such it's a small just, group of people. I mean, one thing it might be is to put a survey, a programming survey, in the city newsletter. Call. Right. And then, give them, and then give them an incentive for doing it. Because right. you have to have an incentive You're right. people are going to do it. Yeah. So that was one thing we can, we can look into. Sure. Because that's where, how you might reach people yeah. who aren't coming to the program. Right, right. Yeah. Or even to the library. Or to the library, yeah. That would be the only thing I would maybe add, and maybe that's just maybe a next year goal, to try so to you bring up a good point, Doris. So let's, let's say that they haven't, well, we'll assume circulation is part of it, right? You have, if you know, you're going to come to the library, then you're either at a program or you've you know, taken something out, right, whether it's mm -hmm. electronic or whatever. Now, if you haven't done that in a certain amount of time, then a survey would go out that's more like that, okay, we notice you haven't been to the library. Is there something else that we could be doing to get you to come in here? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like your selection of books. Or if you had a program on this, I would come. What, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it would be. Or and you're then, doing then you're going to get the feedback. I just don't come. You know, I mean, yeah. you really have to. But the nice thing about that is, is that then, then you're reaching out to them and saying, is there anything we could. <clears throat> That we're not doing that we could be doing, or anything we're doing we could be doing better that would that would then bring you in. Mm -hmm. What about adding a survey when they electronically renew their library card? Because you no longer have to come in to renew your library card. So when they can do it online, have a pop-up survey saying if we could make it really short, like since you're already not could. coming in to renew your library card, what would yeah encourage you to come in? I mean, I don't know. They're, these are all just ideas, maybe. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. Brain, you... brain, brainstorm the different yeah. ways. And there might be multiple ways that you do right. you did right. surveys. Yeah. yeah. You know, before um, clearing out the system of, I don't know, if every year you like clear out the system of library cards that haven't been used in X amount of years, send yeah. one more contact that says, oh, yeah. do. We I do send one saying, you know, just a reminder, this is all the great things your library does. Right. But there's not really anything for feedback. For feedback. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we so go. So I think that kind of like be a mixless conversation. Sure. And yeah. it could benefit Escalated all libraries, such mm -hmm. as ours. What were yeah. you thinking, Doris? Yeah, it's up to you. Um, just as I'm thinking about people not knowing things that our library might do um, at National Night Out, maybe we should put a table in the back of the tent that has some of the different things like a couple of the tools or the baking yes. yeah, yeah. actual items. Yeah, yeah. Great idea. Different the stuff. The wonder books, the yeah. STEM stuff. And the, yeah. the wonder books are almost never there. They are, yeah. Sarah's actually going to have to order more. Yeah. Because they're mm -hmm. like never there. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were like none checked out that we actually went to Oak Creek to get some of the wonder books. <gasps> I know. But then we check them out and bring them here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. You have yeah. our feedback on the programming and the yeah. surveys. Yeah. And then That's the other tricky. goals you're working on tricky. for three yeah. and four. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so now, while, while, while we're on here, I'm just oh. going to make a suggestion because it's going to pop up on some other ones. Uh, uh, that when column, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. We're looking at it at the end of the period, right? So mm -hmm. if it's done, you color that thing in green. I need to do, I always forget your... You know, so if it's, if it's, if if it's, complete, if it's not it. done, then you need to put it in yellow and then there needs to be, okay, so if it was, let's say it was supposed to be done in Q2 and it's not, now I need to see a date in there as when it's going to be done. Not Q3, you know, it's like, because otherwise it's just kind of. Shouldn't green be you're working on it? How does that work? I just was, I was going to say something else. So that according color to coordinated. buildings and grounds, that's the one that's colored. red is done. Is Yellow is in progress, and green is we're working on. So that's, that's the tail there. wagging the dog. So we're gonna. <laughs> I don't know. We we we, we probably. That was, the, that was a Judy Miller. I'm just, that was I'm, a just Judy Miller. I'm just thinking if you if you're looking at a green green is go green is good green green is I got this done. It's okay. Yellow is it's oh, yeah. not done. Slow should be done. Going to be working on it. Should be done in Q3. But let's go ahead and put when in Q3 it's going to be done. Because there were, there were a number of things that weren't done in Q2 
Right. And I know we yes. talked when we put the thing together. Yep. It's like, sure are did. you sure? And, and stuff is going to move for yep. whatever reason. And red know? would mean over, it's complete. R red would mean, okay, it, it you know, it, it was supposed to be done in Q2. Here Q3 is done, and it's still not done. Oh, warning, warning. So it's like, yeah, warning. It's like okay, <laughs> yeah, we got to get this done by the okay. end of the year. Okay, then so. I think we need to be consistent. Yeah. yeah building the so ground. Because I, I can't, to, I, I'm not, yeah. that's not going to work. Have to Are we switch. okay with the green? <laughs> I don't know. And, well, I, I'm thinking it's I'm I don't thinking know. See, the lunch. way, the right. And so Judy Miller came up with green go. We're going to start to go, mm -hmm. and we're going to start this. Yellow is in progress, and... Stop. We're done. We've completed this. That was her yeah, color her coding plate. for buildings and well, I could even. It doesn't matter to it me. It doesn't which matter way. to me. Just as long as we're but as long as we all know what it is. Right. But why don't we? We have one. Let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's yeah. Just, just go with that. It. And, okay. But we're gonna need to remind Mike. <laughs> Next time we what just the need to put the code on it again. His brain, brain works. Maybe I should yeah. put a little chart up there. No, I think yeah. what we ought to do is we ought to do a, a random Orange, survey of blue. people. Yeah, you just, <laughs> just, just, just do a random just survey steal. of Franklin residents. Okay, just steal it off oh, of here again. And then yeah, we're what's really? On it. Yeah, I agree. Well, one thing here. This is too small a sample. <laughs> if, if it's traffic light colors, they're in the opposite. <laughs> oh no! No! Okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Move on. I agree. Okay. Yeah, my, my point my point was if we're yeah. color we're, coordinated, it'll be easier. So so make it easy to see what where yeah, we what, are and things. I agree. So we're really excited about this meeting room stuff. We're really excited. Yes, good. Okay, Andy, we're already on community. Andy, hub. Um, Andy ditched the Shorewood stuff, but just it was never local seen hop that happen. and yep. well local hop he went there but their rooms the way they use it is different and it just wasn't as robust mm -hmm. um cut a hay used another one but then he did a demo for a lip it's called lip cow mm -hmm. and he was like this is fantastic there's like he's like there's like literally nothing it can't do well let's be the first library in so to use it yeah there are libraries in waukesha that use it so like Minami Falls. So his next task is to contact Minami. We're doing Good. a demo right Good. now, which I got I got an email that told me I had to approve a meeting room the other day. And I'm like, what? Because it'll <laughs> say, oh, I'm like, test mode. Yeah, yeah, it was in test mode. Cool. So, um, okay. The other thing I liked design. about this is that you've got this added benefit mm -hmm. that now, not only for, for reserving for meeting rooms, but now for going ahead and signing up yeah. for programming. Mm -hmm. For sure. And we can get rid of sign up genius. You're all done. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. And so, how does the cost? I don't love sign up What does the subscription so, cost for this compared to? It's like 1100 and no, a and year uh, or a year and okay. sign up genius alone is almost that six hundred. Okay. okay, it's not cheap for the perfect pro or version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right there, yeah, it's not going to cost us that yeah, much fewer, more. Fewer fewer tools. Is... It'll invoice people. Yeah, it'll oh, nice. keep track wow. of it. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Good. So also, oh, it'll actually excited. like email people <laughs> out and remind you that you have rooms reserved. I'm pretty sure. That Andy was very impressed That's with the awesome. demo. Thank you, Andy. Mm -hmm. All right. He may be here next month. He might love to talk about it. Okay. So that means this is going to get colored in red? Yeah. Red meaning or, it's or a warning? No, no. no. <laughs> red, 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 red meaning <laughs> it's okay. done. Uh, done. It's yes. Done. It would get colored in as a red <laughs> at the next. Thanks, yeah. learning. We're good. He'll have it by Um. The... Oh, I wanted to point out that Carrie's already met a goal for yes. her core. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of that is because of her re, re reconfiguring yes. of yes. the and adding the create mm -hmm. space. Everybody and adding loves that to the top. Oh, I see. Thing. They break so. into that place even when it's closed. Mm -hmm. It's like And yeah. if there's something for a future quarter that's already done, mm -hmm. it still gets red. Go ahead and take care of that too. So I mean, if it's done, then at least that cause because otherwise, I'm not looking say. at Q3 and Q4 right now. Yeah, I'm just right. assuming we haven't even started that stuff yet. But if it's done, then let's yeah. make sure we know that. Oh, I did not fill in the purchasing the, the new foreign new, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's no. done it. She's done it. <laughs> right. Okay. So she's she's yeah. Carrie's um, on fire. She has purchased quite a bit of um, Hindi, Urdu. In Arabic, okay, and the, the challenge is cataloging it. 
<laughs> we can't read it. <laughs> oh, no. Well, okay. So then reach yeah. out but to there, the yes. parents. Yeah, there are. We will find a way. And also, department they have or? ISBNs. And sometimes oh, they yeah. are showing up in the yeah. catalog if another library had, does happen oh, yeah. to have them. And if we have to, we'll have a, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we will get it done. Reach out to the community. Yep, for free. That way, help us reach mm -hmm. another goal. Face-to-face mm -hmm. -face contact. So I'm sorry, that was not filled in, but that is. Okay. I mean, she's like 70, I'd say 75% spent her budget. On okay. This. Um, the new sensory kit, she's, Brittany is looking into it. She just needs to get through summer reading mm -hmm. and the Bluey yeah. program. <laughs> mm -hmm. She is um, taking some of my water tables hostage for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a very big, it's going to be a Bluey blowout. Yeah. Yep. So that, she'll have that done. So I guess that would be a, you know, will be done. Yellow. Mm -hmm. That's a yellow word. <laughs> Um, so Sarah's goal, of course, in quarter three is already mm -hmm. done. So, and the partnerships, they started the Jubilee daycare. They're looking at nice. some other ones mm -hmm. that they can work with. Good. Sam has been working on increasing mm -hmm. activity on Facebook and Instagram. Hopefully people have noticed he's been doing a pretty good job. Andy's entertainment newsletter, he just keeps updating it. Mm -hmm. So it's not like there's a new one every single quarter. He just checks to see what's dropped off or what has come on to this hoopla and canopy that he can add. <clears throat> so just a personal feedback for that one. I um, wonder if there's some just education or something you could do. Like if, if my daughter Mary comes to the library, wants to check out a movie, and it's not here, the first thing she does is goes to Hoopla. But a lot of our patrons don't know if something's not available here, they can go watch it on Hoopla. Do you know you can watch a movie on Hoopla if it's not in our library? No. Or not in the system? Or Canopy, yeah. Or Canopy. Did you know that? Okay, see? We so have... I, think, I think if our patrons knew that, the uh the, our streaming or the those database those services would get used more and it wasn't be, it was only because of a library board meeting that i knew to tell her to look for something on it. i know we have the little sheets we do that say that maybe we just need so a sign over by the dvds right. and stuff can't and find it like here she, look Mm -hmm. And it started with some and you'll, super... And you'll find those links on the, on the website. website. Yes, absolutely. But it was a can... super obscure reference to something in her history book. And we looked, and it's, it's not even in Central Storage, Tier 19, Shelf 27. Oh. But she could get it on one of these databases. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so... Um, I don't know, maybe part of our marketing thing, just, you know, or recommending that to um, mm -hmm. Sam, that even a simple, <laughs> a simple, something simple. Yeah, to, it's to, no different than if you go to the store and it's not on the shelf. Right. Right. Then right. The, Where do your, you go? Your first thing is just like, oh. Yeah, right. maybe you could yeah. even use a QR code so that if it's not on the shelf, uh -huh. Directly they could, to the, and they have their phone. They could just scan the QR code. They could do a QR them. code to Directly Canopy, and then they would yeah. have to sign up. So it might be a little bit confusing, but right. if people are using QR codes, they're just probably suggest, pretty savvy. Just because, yeah. yeah. All right. Good. <clears throat> um, so all of the Wonder Book collections. Oh, I already talked no, about that. I'm going to go back. We're already down there. Down okay. page four. Or, yeah, page 20. Um. So the summer reading participation, we don't have the final numbers yet. I'll be giving those out in August. Every but program I've been to has mm -hmm. been very full. Yeah. So summer reading has so far increased 10.8% for adults, 20% for kids, and 86 for teens. Okay. We really need Ooh, to. Oh, even teens are up. We need to thank Anna Lee for allowing those yes. librarians in her school. That did, yeah. yeah. So that made a big even if they don't, even if they aren't able to hand, hand out the out paper, stuff, the fact that it, they're just being there and talking to them about it, and for sure, yeah. So <clears throat> it will make sure mm -hmm. she sees um, these numbers. Yes. Then 
um, we're still getting kind of familiar with Patreon Point and summer reading kind of kind of killed us and all the other projects we have going on. But we are um, going to be continuing our marketing emails soon. It says we plan on working with librarians. Yeah. The librarians here? Yes. So like Brittany and Sarah for the children's. Because we can do targeted. You could do targeted, targeted emails. Yeah. Any idea of what types of things? Um, like a children's newsletter. And we could just send it out to... So the children's events coming up uh, and, uh, you know... What about what about people who are children? <clears throat> oh, adults, yeah. Well, it says increased mm -hmm. community awareness of library programs and services. We just talked about Hoopla and Canopy, mm -hmm. right? What, what other types of things? This can kind of get back to our survey thing. Mm -hmm. Well, and do we have demographic information on people who have library cards? Like, do they know that I am the age I am? And so then okay. I need to be marketed. Well, know. we don't ask for their birth date. No. Right. Yeah. And I don't so, know. So, I mean, that, 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 that would be a definite target. Yeah. Like, maybe they would want to target me for great, dis great discussions, but maybe great not. Decision. Uh, great right. decisions, yeah. but maybe not. A mom with young kids, mm -hmm. because, or whatever, mm -hmm. I don't know, or the the uh, programs for older adults, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I don't know. So that they're a, working on it. That is a yes. Um, Carrie and mm -hmm. Sam actually are doing the cricket videos. Carrie was recording it mm -hmm. last, recording them last week. So that's oh, making good. good progress on those. I don't know how to make. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we've already Six had, you know, with the, the Milkman game, you. with yeah. the Milkman game and all the concerts, and then we're having the movie night mm -hmm. in front over at City Hall on August fifth. And then there's just a lot of places where we're able to interact with people. So next time, since this is a quarter four goal, next mm -hmm. quarter, if you've if you've made some of those contacts, could could they, mm -hmm. you list some of the specifics. Mm -hmm. How do you measure a thousand face-to-face -face interactions? <clears throat> I take a clicker. Or how many doodads you give away. You start with 500 doodads, and 200 yeah. are left. Doodads so and clicker. And you, people must have grabbed a bracelet. Mm -hmm. The yeah. hard part was the milkman game, which we're just using a percentage of sure. how many people attended. Well, look how many balls we sold and yeah. tattoos we did. and mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Okay. Do do we, we? I don't know where this would fit in budget wise, but um, we should get a tent. No, we do. I I want one with our logo on it. Yeah, I actually we just ordered one for my other job, and it's cheaper than I've seen at other places, and it's fantastic. Do like, send me the information. Yeah, okay. super high quality, heavy duty, but. The one I quoted, the one I was quoted last year was like six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Oh yeah, they're. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's gonna. And be. It would have been a very nice one, but I was like, that's a lot of money. No foundation, but, but that foundation. is the perfect. Yeah. Perfect because the foundation could use it mm -hmm. for At their Milkman, stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, in if you get like the back panel, you can use it for photo mm -hmm. like ops. And that's stuff. what I'm looking and, for. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. <coughs> All right. So. Um, the communication <laughs> survey, we did complete that. That is mm -hmm. done. Um, and everybody Surprise, wants friend. email. Even with, though they don't read it. <laughs> well, we are kind of getting a little bit more strict about that. Yeah, right. Giving them parameters. Response. Like, yeah. You know, you are expected to check your email once per once shift. shift. Yeah. Good. Um, finance <clears throat> committee meeting, they met. Mm -hmm. Everything's been done. I mean, it was a little... Um, there are hiccups because mm -hmm. of the new staff over at the city, but it's not, it's going. Um, the three-year plan with staffing, finance, and personnel, I realize I'm like, staffing, finance, and personnel, that's kind of mm -hmm. redundant. Now, we've done the three-year budget projection with the mm -hmm. finances. Personnel committee should probably look over Right, and personnel. we are due to meet... In August, anyway. So mm -hmm. you, I was that was going to be something tonight. If you mm -hmm. could uh, make note 
to organize a personnel yep. committee mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. And then you guys could look over yep. that. Yep, and, that can be part of that agenda. Um, I can give you like the, yeah. So, well, mm -hmm. that's progressing. Well, Part of that can also be that statistic that I gave you earlier about how our percentage, oh, our staff right. cost as a percentage mm -hmm. of our, our total revenue that we get from the city is, is creeping up. And, you know, actually, when you, uh, if you look just in general, uh, staffing costs for libraries should be somewhere between, between 60 and 70%. And the oh. rest of it, the rest of it should be like your materials budget and, and programming and stuff like that. So we're we're already over and getting worse. Well, mm -hmm. and and that doesn't mean that you're going to adjust your staffing down, right. In order to exactly. make that number better, exactly. but going forward, <clears throat> you know, what does that mean as far as you know? We want to continue to have interns, and you know, right. well, you, well, and if we keep hitting all of our goals, our numbers should keep going up. Which means we should need increased amount of staff. Absolutely. Well, in our, or not to lose them. Well, especially, yeah. But especially for things like programming, mm -hmm. right? Let's, uh, let's mm -hmm. say that there are some additional educational related things that we're going to be doing, right? There's so many hours in the day. So now if you're going to have staff that's also going to be doing some community outreach, but right. they're going to be doing some things right. for the community they're as already a service. Stretched thin, yes, like, yeah. exactly. And that's the type of stuff that needs to be put together in a presentation to the city when you sit down and say, right. thank you so much for seeing us today. Right. Here's our ask. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so the security system, you got the update from Jim. Yep. yep. So I think we're, we know what's going on there. Um, Carrie did not only one, but two meetings. Yep. So we're, we're done with that one. Fine <laughs> job. I mean, we'll keep... I, trying to keep her more in the loop on everything that's going on. Yeah. Good. So that if I something yeah. happens to me yeah. again, right. then she can just slip right in. Yeah. Um and then yeah, you're working on the working on quarter three and quarter four mm -hmm. stuff for myself. But we already got that donation of yeah. forty seven eighty for yeah. the chairs and the chairs I think are great. Yeah they are. Good. So that's good. Now Making ten contacts within the local community—that's a measurable thing. So you, you got to, mm -hmm. you got, you got to have. Okay, who did we talk to? Right. What mm -hmm. was, what was the what response? Was response? Yeah. And while it may not necessarily all be detailed here, that's definitely something you're going to want to have logged. So then, when it comes down to evaluation mm -hmm. time, then you can say, "Oh yeah, I hit this one. Here's all the stuff that we did." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Great any, progress. Any, yeah. Anything else on that? Uh, strategic plan update action plan any questions or comments oh, I think that yeah, yeah good job yep it's looking good you and your staff hey um we are hoping to finally to wrap up these policies Woo! so under old business we are going to first look at the soliciting on library property policy um, so, okay, so Annie and Annalie aren't here to weigh in on it, but our conversation with right. Cooper was very good. Yes. Um, so I was kind of hoping they would be here, but I think we also kind of need to maybe right. be done with be this. Done with I this. hope. Okay. I did read um, it over. Yeah. Well, and, and the, the, the stuff that was up in the air seems to be pretty much yeah. taken Don't care of here. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know that there really needs to be a lot more discussion yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I can tell you that that 50 feet will put people out to pretty much only being able to be around the flagpole. Mm -hmm. Which and which which then they can't be there because there's names imprinted on those. Aren't there names on those stones out there? No. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought those were also memorial stones. Okay. No. No. But it's not oh, a very big oh, space. Oh, not as I'm far out about, as the memorial. Well, oh, they no. can. They, they could, could be along the sidewalks. You're talking no, about it the, says you we're talking about the flag. Yeah, yeah, block well, sidewalks. Uh, uh, the flag, flag. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I actually had a few questions, and I'm going to defer to Judy here because I don't know if it's because I'm not a legal person. But um, <laughs> under general statements, it says they're not going to be. Uh, they will not be permitted to solicit library patrons or staff members on duty. Do we need to state on duty there? 
What if they're walking from their car to the door and somebody soliciting or peddling knows that they're heading to the door? And then, of course, they sh they're not permitted to discuss library business matters on library time. Does that need to be there? Um, again, what if they accost them in the park? <laughs> Corner them. I don't know. What do you feel about that? I, well, another thing I think of is that he was like afraid of like union organizing. Like, the gotcha. Thing, like, but I don't know if they can be organized under state law. I, I don't do state Oh, laws, like so. the library staff. Right, exactly. Okay. Gotcha. So it really applies to them. And you said we're under that general statement paragraph. Under the general statement. I just worry about if there's people. I don't know. Otherwise, I don't care. Well, I would just the, defer. I was yeah. just asking if that's important to, to mention, to even say on duty. Or if... if um, or if it should just be in general, they are not permitted to solicit patrons or staff. I think it's probably there because of some sort of issue like okay. that. Like gotcha. That the, okay. Yeah. And then every time I read this, under number two, the note, this policy, to me that means this whole thing. Is this policy pertaining to the use of the grounds or just statement number two? Because there are statements in the rest of the policy that make it sound like inside the library. And then it says this pertains only to the grounds, not the inside. Well, the See regulations, what I'm saying? Yeah, well, regulations, once the public activities are prohibited within FPL facilities, but may be permitted where reasonable outside of FPL grounds. It's like inconsistent language. Think exactly. I mean, that's what I see. I'm like, right. That's why I'm wondering yeah. if that really, that word there, this policy pertains to the use of the grounds, or if it just means statement number two and not the and not the entire policy. Right. So I don't know if, if it under number two the note should say this statement or this section or just this pertains or this because it's right because it does sound right like the whole the policy, policy, but then. Part of the policy talks about. Well, it just I don't know. I don't to mean be, to it, pick it, but well, it's sure unusual it. that you would. You know, why bother having something that says note? If it if it relates to that to particular whole. thing, just change the wording and just include it right with the paragraph. And right. Make it, make it all one thing, so that there isn't that confusion. Right. Or just eliminate the word policy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd say just scratch the word policy. Okay, did I go back to one? <laughs> nope. We're, we're passing. That doesn't say that. <laughs> um, I'm wondering, this would apply, I'll put it this way, this would apply to a business soliciting mm -hmm. or um, a party or candidate or a uh, person on advancing some religion. Sure. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering if it might be just uh, clear to see if we could somehow look at all of that in, in, in no. paragraph one. Because then you're going to leave something out. No. Uh, like what? I don't know. Yeah. As well, soon as you start naming things, yeah. then it, it's, it's like when you get the Academy Award, right? Who are all the people that you're going to thank? I can't thank everybody. So I'm not going to thank anybody. You know who you are. And, and, I'm, and if I'm missing your point, Terry, I apologize, but, you know, to, to detail the individuals or groups in here that, that this means, we already do. So what are you saying? Well, the big categories presumably would be business, political, or religious. I'm not sure who else would come in. But if we're going to specify uh, people doing it like certain like salesmen, we're talking about salesmen, and then we talk about uh, well, that's business religious proselytizing. Under and two, we, and, and talks about and we've run into problems <laughs> with you know, politicians coming here for non-political reasons. That's soliciting. Well, it's just. 
you know, we may have an incumbent person here who comes to the library for something else, but then starts, you know, campaigning. Mm. And we're not, there's not much you can do about it. So, but the, they just seem, those would be the categories. Hey, Chris, the library is closing in 15 so, minutes. If you could please bring your items up to the front listed. desk for checkout. Thank you. I know, yeah, I understand what you mean. There could be something else that's not specifically listed. But. Well, I think if you're going to do cherries, where you'd have to say something like, for example, including but not limited to, where you have just like some examples listed, but make clear that it's not limited to those. Mm -hmm. But it is a little odd that we call it religious proselytizing at the very end. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, here, yeah, let's we, just make this really clear. We don't want the religious people here. <laughs> but, I mean, that's. That's a little odd, but well, I understand why we're doing it. Give some people the willies. But right. that doesn't well, mean we want to say it in here. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's there simply because soliciting, peddling, sales, you don't it's, think of those terms when you're talking about, about religion. religious, yeah. So that, mm -hmm. that may be why that, that's mm -hmm. included in there. It's just like, oh, yeah, and by the way, that would be another way. But then, to Terry's point, then political yeah, yeah, campaigning. campaigning or political. I thought we had a separate policy we, of political <coughs> campaigning. Well, it's meeting in the meeting room. Yeah, in the meeting, oh, meeting room. Okay. But then under distribu distributing materials, mm -hmm. we... Distribution no, it's under petitions to collect under, signatures. Under, yeah, regulations we have. I know. I so, don't. No. <laughs> I I understand, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like we have to add it in because it's not a salesman or regular. I mean, I don't know how else you would do it. Well, I guess that's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern about this policy is I don't know if people reading it are going to understand what they're prohibited from doing. Because it it refers to FPL grounds and then it refers to FPL facilities and like if I'm reading this, I've had really like ten times. I'm still not sure if I know exactly yeah. what it means and where I can do what. He needs to have to who, who wrote this Cooper? Yeah. Well, right. He needs to have like a defined term and be consistent. So, what does the definition of property mean? Inside, outside? Is well, what it says, it pertains to the use of FPL grounds and not the inside of FPL facilities. So, so he uses FPL, or buildings, he uses FPL grounds, and then we also have FPL facilities. I'm assuming that has a different meaning. But I think it might, that. Grounds includes facilities. Have, have we had any issues in the last three months since we've been working on this, or have they been... No, actually, I haven't seen them back. Yeah, I haven't either. All right, so the but, libraries... Oh, go ahead. No, I was just wondering if... I mean, if they haven't been back, then we're okay. But I was going to say, otherwise, is it something that we can... If we feel that we really need to put it in a pilot, like, can we approve it and then just still change it and then reapprove it? Or are we not we feeling that. Rushed? You could approve it and then you could... I guess we I, could, I could bring it. I could bring it back but, next month with a. Well, that's what so I was going to say. Something in if place. we're going to say something like mm -hmm. FPL grounds, meaning we define them. We define yes. what grounds yes. is. Right, because I'm not sure if he meant means to use FPL facilities and FPL grounds interchangeably. I don't think so. I think he, when he's talking about grounds, he's talking kind of like when we talk about what's inside the building, what's outside right, the building. Right, but that's not clear. That's a thing. Because like usually facilities would include it's on your right it's part of your grounds and facilities. Like, mm, facilities to me is buildings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I got the feeling he was talking about like the meeting room. Is a facility the study room? We'll see. Maybe Everybody I'm thinks not. it's something but, different. But why does he say therefore FPLs establishes policy to ensure free speech while ensuring the rights of others to use FPL facilities are not impeded? So that means actual meet building. Yeah, yeah, they're not impeded, yeah. from, impeded from, from getting into from people into walking the building. into it. See, I think instead of using facilities, we could just say building. FPL building, or to use the library, the actual library. Mm -hmm. 
Because okay. you're the only one building. Right. Right. So why can't we just say to use the library? Okay. Let's do that. So ensuring the rights of others to use Franklin Public Library. Right. Where are you at, Judy? Number two, uh, in the bottom, the last sentence is in full. The no there or the or okay. No, right above there. Um, to use Franklin Public Library are not impeded. Okay, so the following activities are prohibited within FPL facilities, but may be permitted. So the following activities are prohibited within the library, but may be within permitted. Within the Franklin, let's get rid of the word facilities. Right, right? and just use within the, the library. library. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but may be permitted or reasonable outside of FPL grounds. That makes more sense to me because yep. it's the library that he's really focused on, not facilities. Yes, mm -hmm. I think that is more clear. Good. Okay, then if we do that. How many times is used facilities? Well, those are well two down in regulations is FPL facilities. Right. Right, so we fixed there. One. Yeah. Oh, you did that one already. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so. That was right, it. Four, no, like four, 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 four. So here, four, it's getting used, it's so inconsistent. At no time can a person block disabled access into FPL. So into so either into we should use the, FPL or we should use the library. Yeah, I mean. Into the library. Into the library, I think is what we should say. Right. Well, mm -hmm. FPL is Franklin Public Library. It is, but then he uses FPL yeah. grounds. It's, it's so, yeah. that's why I think. And then people. The library like, entrances. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so it's just he's. The it's library. just inconsistent between FPL. Library. So, but then like in six, you use FPL grounds and FPL. <laughs> right. So what are we saying? Are we going to change every FPL to the library? No, I think we leave the grounds as FPL grounds. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is instead of saying appropriate conduct in Franklin Public Library FPL grounds, what I would say is appropriate conduct in Franklin Public Library grounds and then say FPL grounds and have that as the defined term. Oh, so because the first you time. already used yeah. that. Okay. Where's... That. Yeah. That's the first sentence. He's got defined as FPL. I think it really should be FPL grounds. And then, okay. Wait, wait. Well, FPL grounds is used at the beginning of the policy under statement number two, distributing materials. Right, going through it. Yeah. So, okay. Appropriate conduct on Franklin Public Library grounds, FPL grounds, assures a secure and congenial environment. Library patrons and employees have the right to be treated with civility. Courtesy and respect at all times. Patrons also have the right to attend to the undisturbed use of library materials and services. It is the established policy of the Library Board of the Franklin Public Library that solicitors and peddlers will not be permitted to solicit library patrons or staff members on duty. Furthermore, staff members shall direct salesmen to leave the building, informing them that library staff is not permitted to discuss business <laughs> matters on library time. The salesman persists. Shall we call this for the solicitor? Okay, I think that's that That's fine. okay. Then we need to two. FPL recognizes. So Franklin Public Library recognizes. I would just say the library recognizes and supports, or Franklin Public Library. Well, I'll above spell the, it out. The, 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 the very first sentence the, of the policy, it he's identifies. Just it. Yeah. yeah. He shows it. So yeah. everywhere, instead of restating it, he's he's using FPL. Right, but then he's getting, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I mean, we have to, it's got to be more consistent. Is there, this is going to be part of a bigger packet of. No. Documents, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's the policy. Like, it's one of our policies, so it's going to be a standalone policy. Okay. And then, so under note, it's FPL grounds as opposed to just FPL, um, not the inside of FPL buildings. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, meeting space. Okay. So are we I'm going to really throw a wrench in here. So do we need that note at all? I, if, if we were to take everything that's in the note and strike it, would, would, it, would it weaken this policy or, or does it add no value? In which case, if none of those words occurred and people read the policy, it would be just fine as is. I just don't know why we need to say this policy pertains to these appeal grounds not the inside of appeal buildings. We could just have, have a sentence there saying, instead of saying note, say, 
uh, individuals wishing to reserve a meeting room should review the meeting room policy, and you just say that without having to know it. Okay. But, well, I, so I don't I, disagree with you, Mike. I'm not sure what, what it adds, because we have a separate policy on meeting rooms. So let's strike that first sentence yeah. under note, and then just add that sentence beginning with the word persons to the end of that other <coughs> paragraph. It said but, above. Wishing to reserve a designated meeting space on FPL property, do you want me to say reserve a designated meeting space in, in, the, library. in, the, library. in the library? Yeah. Are they allowed to reserve anything outside? Anyways, I guess a patio, but we kind of we kind of don't really consider that since you have to go through the library to get to it. Right. It's almost, yeah. 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 Okay, you. so persons wishing to reserve a designated meeting space should refer to the meeting room policy. Is that what you wanted to do say? That. You could just say that. Mm -hmm. Meeting space and get uh, on FPL property should refer to the policy or speaker. Well, I got rid of FPL property. Yep. So I put persons wishing to reserve a designated meeting space in the library should refer to the meeting room policy or speak with the person in charge of the FPL. In charge, the person in charge of the library. I don't understand why in that's the, why do you have that at all. Yeah, why can't you just refer to the meeting room policy? Because, because the meeting because room the meeting policy, policy says that they need to go through you anyway. So do we need to say with the... And then no, we'll skip the just, or part? Yeah. Okay, cool. It just seems like odd that you're talking about all of a sudden the meeting room space. Right. So persons wishing to reserve a designated meeting space I mean, I guess in the library should refer speeches. to the meeting room policy period. Yeah, I mean, so we give them an opportunity to, to do something. If they can't do it outside, they want to reserve. They may be able room. to do something inside right. if they reserve and a room. A and meeting then, exactly. And then the meeting okay. room policy. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm good with that. So it's just going to okay. say persons wish it, it's going to be added on to the end. You're a lawyer. <laughs> you know how this works. <laughs> so it's just going to be added on to the end of above. Yes. Number two yes. saying persons wishing yes. to First reserve a designated off, meeting space should, should refer to the room. meeting room policy. policy period. Period. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. under regulations for striking the word facilities on, yeah. after yeah. FPL, I'm a little uh, yeah, library, confused right. Right. about right. four because through the whole policy yeah. oh, yeah. we've referred to it as FPL, but do we want to change that to library? Oh, it's fine. Look, are we going to be able to vote on this tonight? You want me just to make these changes and bring it back? Yeah, I think I think we're pretty much done. Oh, okay. Right. You know, we already I mean, said yeah, FPL stands it. for Franklin Public Library. We yeah. got rid of facilities to just say the library, and mm -hmm. then we made our other. I think it's at like I know it kind of sounds like a lot of changes, but I don't think it really is in the end. We just went through. We just and talked about it a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Well, no, no. Are you motioning, Alan? Yes, he is. Good. I'm yes. seconding. Motion to approve the soliciting on library property policy. With, with, the, changes. with the changes discussed. With the changes discussed. And yeah. Mike seconded it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Or abstained? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, then the unattended children policy, the age eight Ooh, was... Fine. Yeah. There's something. no legal... Yep, yeah. and we checked the, into that. The and other policies I've looked at from other libraries either use night, no age, no age, or, or seven eight. or eight. Yeah, okay, eight. Okay. Any questions or discussions on that? Nope. I make a motion to approve. I second it. Doris and Maria. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed or abstained? All right. Okay. I'll try to go through this really quickly. Are yes. On? Okay, so because since Annie yeah. and Allie aren't here yeah. and you read the minutes, and then we we did move some things around on the yeah. priority. So um, not really looking ahead to 2025, 2026, 2027 at this point, but I did put in the request for 2024. Yep. So that's all been done. So okay. any... So those have already been uh, submitted. submitted, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you see Based in that on, column for 2024 is what Jennifer, with the guidance of the buildings and grounds, mm -hmm. submitted to the city in our capital. Mm -hmm. I did check in. They wanted me to check with Jim Matelski about Windows 10. Right. And I did. And Windows 10 is not scheduled to be like sunset until gotcha. like 2025. Okay. So we're fine okay. waiting. Okay. Until the end of 2024. really makes 
decisions on stuff like that. Computer stuff? Or capital? It would, it would kind of make sense, since we had an IT guy here, that if there's stuff within the city that, that would kind of like when you go to, the, to Cooper right. for legal stuff. Okay, you don't want to be bleeding edge, right? So just because they come up with a new version, you usually got, mm -hmm. oh, you're gonna wait a year because it's gonna have all sorts of bugs and things like that. And some versions have just been totally horrible. Um, but, you know, it's just, so you don't want to hang on to something when you know that now when you get to the new one, there's gonna be all sorts of, so. Wait, so there's no more updates after 2025 for Windows 10? It's like towards operate? the end of 2025. He's like, there's, and, and he said Microsoft's dates are always a little fluid and he, he doesn't even have the library Windows 10, the city owned library computers oh. in the schedule for next year. He's got them in for the following year. Okay, okay so you're just following the lead. So with I'm what's following. Going on with yeah. The city. Okay. And, okay. you know, if there's questions like that, I would always probably sure. ask Jim. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting okay. to go to Jim more than I am actually in um, Milwaukee County Library Very good. Um, and then the checklist. Yep. Looks I think good. is looking really good. Um, Annie was happy that we got the shelving down in right. Pedro B. <laughs> and my report, if you have any questions of anything, mm -hmm. if you have any questions, I don't yep. really need to read over it. No. Nope. I, I will talk about the patio, though, because I did get the quote okay. from Mud Tech. From the Mud Bill, yeah. Bill. Bob forwarded it to me when he was camping this weekend. <laughs> So it was thirty. It would be thirty seven hundred dollars to go with mud jacking. They would do like eleven squares, like, like right where it would need to be done to bring it up to that. We've Instead gone like of, full circle here over the last I know, year, right? <laughs> well, and even we I have was, to do something. It's like okay, it, it just seems to make sense, right? Rather than leaving everything the way it is, knowing what the situation is. is with some of those right. slabs, and then be grinding to make the trip hazard go away. It's like no. Yeah. Yeah. Four grand, really? Right. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it right. And, yeah, so... And we don't have so any of the other stuff on sitting on top of it that's going to cause it to... So right. It's just really going to be foot traffic. Yeah. So that really is what has solved a lot of the problems is those planters being moved. Well, well this is not solved, but, but deterred from making worse. <laughs> we hope. We hope, yeah. We hope. I mean, the I guess... The library's built on a... Yeah. Moon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. But, you know, and... Everybody agrees that the concrete's in good condition. I mean, that's right. not okay. even that's, an issue. Right. It's not okay. like, okay, your concrete right. has cracks. It has cracked. And it, yeah. It's like beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for a 20-year-old patio. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead with the mud jacking. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. So that's it. And then National Night Out is August 7th. Yeah. If anybody wants to be here I, schmoozing. Yep. I'll, I'll come home. Come on. Um, uh, with I your am... materials, that locker sign real quick. Yeah. Um, check. Well, I'll email you a link. I but am... signs and lines by stretch. They're usually, usually pretty inexpensive and they do good work. Signs and lines? Signs and lines by stretch. Is that local? No, it's in Waukesha, but it's worth checking in considering your bids have been really expensive. I'm like $900 to... Do that. Well, and I don't. Did you check with school at one point at the high school? I actually, haven't done that. Yet. Oh, I, I don't wonder. I know they're out, but um, I'll ask they're Chris if he good. can or ask and yeah. if yeah. if they're able to do that. If that's something they could do, put a vinyl wrapper on a locker. Right, it's basically something that arts, they can print. Art people, they're their they, own. Yeah, right. They do all different <clears throat> kinds. Of, I don't know if that's something that they have the equipment for, but they do all different kinds of graphic yeah. design. But if they can do it and we just pay for the materials, mm -hmm. then we can wait another couple of months or whatever. Yeah, for sure. And then the FPL at Lance numbers, everything was really good. Um, Lots of yellow, but I forgot to look at bookable meaning. I think that actually was yellow, too. I don't know. End of last week was rough. <laughs> but everything's, I mean, our numbers are, I, I'm very pleased with our numbers. Good. Yeah. All the hard work that has been going on is showing. Yeah, for sure. 
We've had three out of the six months where our circulation has exceeded last year. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Oh, shoot. That's right. I'm ready to end here. Oh, Jennifer's done. Oh, wow. look at the agenda. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, foundation. Um, okay, so we had a bonus Milkman fundraiser last mm -hmm. Tuesday. Because because they had they hosted the All Star Game, oh, nice. and our foundation president was invited to the luncheon that Ooh. day, where she got to meet somebody Vec, who was the son of a. Okay. Yeah, but it was his son. Yeah. Yeah, and so she got to sit at a table and talk with them. She was like, felt. Wow. Yeah, it was really cool. He was White Sox, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. She was very excited about that. Um, and then Tuesday night, the Lions, the Lionesses, and the Library, and the Education Foundation, which wasn't able to make it, were invited to be the nonprofits featured. So I got to talk Ooh, again. Well, nice. I Barbara wasn't yeah. there when she was out selling raffle okay. tickets. So I got to speak for the Library Foundation. But anyway, um, and we raised, because all the organizations split the raffle proceeds. So we made another the Library Foundation made another four hundred and sixty-two dollars on raffle tickets. So to add to the almost sixteen hundred they made on May twenty-first. So wow! Dang. And nice. it was kind of nice that he invited the groups right. back. Specifically. And we, yeah. I actually was talking so that was with. Last mm -hmm, I was actually talking with the one of the lionesses, and we we're kind of hoping that maybe this could be an annual thing where we all get together because that was. It was because we hosted the All Star Game, though. It was, but we're so, like, maybe there's something else. Something else, right. <laughs> so okay. we're going to yeah. talk to Steve Taylor and yeah, wiggle Steve our Pete way back in again. Create another. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Terry, do you have a colon report? Yeah, we just uh, had our semi, or no, what is it? It's every other. Is that semi? Biannual. Bi-monthly. Bi bi Bi-monthly, yes. Yeah. And uh, we're working on our bi biennial report um, gotcha. and uh, so that's which goes to the superintendent although it's not limited to that it's a, it's a right. report to the whole everybody in the state but uh, it's a big project and there's a so what's happened is and this hasn't happened before in my nine years on uh, colon is we have a, a continuation of the meeting Thursday of this week uh, hmm. by telephone to, to wrap up that all up. So uh, you know, we could have a report next month here as well. Okay. So that okay. will all be complete. Okay. <coughs> gotcha. Good. Well, good luck working on that. <laughs> And I guess we kind of skipped my report, but I talked about uh, it was a. Oh, I just thought you would pass. I, I know. I, Maria's got nothing to say. No way. I, <laughs> well, you know, I was I was looking I was looking at skipping everybody else there, Michelle and Annalie, because they're not here. And I, I whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I didn't have really a report. Um. So. All right. Our next meeting is August twenty eighth. I will not be here. Okay. Not here either. Uh, August twenty eighth. Uh, he said when we said August eighth or August seventh for um, night out. I won't be here. Oh, okay. I'll, oh, I will be here for the next meeting. Okay. okay. And and will you be here? Or was did we misunderstand that too? No, I'll be here. Oh, okay. Today, today, gotcha. It was for national night. Everybody else is gonna be here. Okay. So just. Hopefully yeah, it's something fun. I'll make a motion in Eddie's absence to adjourn. Excellent. And, second. and Doris second. seconds, and it is 8.09. Thank you all for putting in extra tonight, guys. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. All righty. Have a good one. Oh.